Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to solve exercise 13.1 of chapter direct and inverse proportion. This chapter is there in class 8th in mathematics subject. Let us start. We have our first question. Question 1 is following are the car parking charges near a railway station. For 4 hours, charges are rupees 60. For 8 hours, it is rupees 100. For 12 hours, it is rupees 140. And for 24 hours, it is rupees 180. Check if the parking charges are in your direct proportion to the parking time. So let us take the ratio. Here we will take the ratio of time period to your parking charges. So first it is for 4 hours they are paying or they are charging with 360. So here let us simplify down 2 to the 4, 2 30 to 2 into 2, 2 15 here. So it is 1 upon 15. When it is uh, 8 hours, they are charging rupees 100. Simplify the thing. 4 to the 8, 4, 25 here. So it is 2 upon 25. For 12 hours, they are charging rupees 140. 26 here, 270 here, 23 here, 235 here. So it is 3 upon 35. For 24 hours, they are charging rupees 180. So 212 here, 290 here, 26 here, 245 here. Then 3 2 here, 6, 3 1 here, 3, 3 5 here, 15. It is 2 upon 15. So we can see that. After simplifying this ratio, 1 upon 15 is not equal to 2 upon 25. This is not equal to 3 upon 35. And this is also not equal to 2 upon 15. So we can say that your given quantities here, the given quantities are not directly proportional. Now, let's have our second question. Second question is, a mixture of paint is prepared by mixing one part of red pigment and eight part of base. And eight part of base. So, in the following table, find the part of the base that is needed to be added. So, we have to fill this uh, empty boxes. So let us here we have the simplified ratio is 1 upon 8. Now we have to find 4 upon x. So uh, if we solve it down, it will be x will be equal to 8 multiplied by 4, then x 8 4 by 32. So here we will find it is 32. Then again the simplified ratio is 1 upon 8, it should be matched with. Uh, 7 upon x so cross multiply the things 8 7 j 56 so it will be 56 then 1 upon 8 is compared with 12 upon x cross multiply things x will be equal to 12 multiply with 8 so 12 8 j 96 so here it will be 96 then again 1 upon 8 the simplified base and that pigment ratio is equal to 1 upon 20 upon x cross 20 other things it will be it is 16 160 so here it will be 160 so these are the required basis value one is uh, 32 56 96 and 160 now moving on our third question it is given that in the question 2 about one part of red pigment 
requires 75 ml base how much red pigment should be mixed with 1800 ml base so here we can see for one part of red pigment it requires 75 ml base so for 1800 ml base uh, how much red pigment x part of of red pigment is required so just cross multiply with things 1 multiply with 1800 that is equal to x multiply with 75 so x will be equal to 1800 upon 75 so uh, 5 into 5, 5, 5 to 25. Then 5 to 15, 5 to 30, 0. Then 3, 5 to 15, 2 into 3, 2 to 6, 0. 5 into 5, 5, 24 to 120. So it is 24 parts of your red pigment is required uh, when we mix with the 1800 ml of base level. Moving to our next question, that is question 4. Here question 4 is a machine is a soft drink uh, a machine in a soft drink factory fills uh, 840 bottles in 6 hours so filling of 840 bottles happens in uh, 6 hours how many bottles will it fill in 5 hours so uh, for 5 hours let it be x bottles are being filled so cross multiply the things because uh, we find that these two quantities are in direct proportion so cross multiply it will be 840 multiply with 5 and x will be multiplied with 6 so x will be equal to 840 multiplied by 5 divided by 6 so let 2 3 are 6 2 2 4 j 8 2 2 j 4 0 then 3 1 j 3 3 1 j 3 3 uh, 4 j 12 0 so 140 multiplied with 5 it will be 700 so it will be uh, 700 bottles uh, that will be uh, filled uh, with soft drinks in 5 hours. In a similar manner, we can move to question 5 now. Here, a photograph of a bacteria enlarged 50,000 times attain a length of 5 cm as shown in the diagram. So, it is uh, given that uh, enlargement is 50,000 times and it attains a length of 5 cm as shown in the diagram. What is the actual length of the bacteria? If the photograph enlarged 20,000 times, uh, and what would be the its enlarged length? That it will be x centimeter. So if I cross multiply, so it will x multiplied with 50,000 equal to 5 multiplied with 20,000. So x will be equal to 5 multiplied with 20,000 divided by 50,000 now uh, 4 zeros and 4 zeros will get cancelled 5 and 5 cancelled it will be 2 cm so x value is 2 cm that what would be its enlarged length it will be enlarged uh, for uh, the enlarged length will be uh, 2 cm now we are also we need to find out its original uh, length it is uh, it will be 5 upon 50,000 so it will be uh, 5 into 5 5 into 5 so it is 10,000 so 1 upon 10 power 4 that will be equal to 10 power minus 4 centimeter so that is the actual length uh, of the bacteria let's now move to question 6 in a model of ship, the mast is 9 cm high while the mast of actual ship it is 12 meter high. This one for actual ship and this will be for model ship. Now, uh, the length of the ship is 28 meter 
the length of the strip is given as a 20 meter that is length I mean what about the length of uh, x meter the length will be x meter uh, per model ship so let's say the quantity can be compared so it will be uh, so the, these two quantities are in direct proportion so uh, when the model ship is 9 centimeter in height so its length is x centimeter x meter x meter now uh, if it is your actual ship 12 centimeter its model uh, its length will be 28 meter cross multiply it will be 9 multiply with 28 divided by 12 so 3 3 is 9 3 4 is 12 4 is 4 4 7 4 is 28 7 3 21 that will be 21 meter 21 meter will be the uh, length of the uh, model ship now we can solve for question number 7 question number 7 is that suppose uh, uh, we have 2 kg sugar that contain 9 multiplied by 10 power 6 crystals so how many sugar crystals are there in 5 kg of sugar if it is 5 kg sugar it will be having x crystals so that they are in direct proportion so 2 multiplied with x and 5 is multiplied with 9 into 10 power 6 so x will be equal to 5 into 9 into 10 power 6 divided by 2 so uh, 9 to 45 45.2 is 2.25 It will be uh, 2.25 multiplied by 10 power 7. I have shifted the decimal from uh, 22.5 to 2.25. So it will be 22 2.25 into 10 power 7. And for the second part, it is the same thing that for 2 kg of uh, sugar, it is 9 into 10 power 6 crystals. So for 1.2 kg sugar, it will be having x crystals. So cross multiply that means it will be 2 multiplied with x that is multiply that is equal to 1.2 multiplied with 9 into 10 power 6. So x will be equal to 1.2 into 9 multiplied with 10 power 6 divided by 2. So it will be 12 multiplied with 9 multiplied with 10 power 6 divided by 2 into 10. I have removed the decimal. 2 into 2, 2, 6 to 12. Now uh, uh, it will 654 multiply with 10 power 6 minus 1 so 54 multiply with 10 power 5 and uh, if I put the decimal it is 5.4 uh, multiply with 10 power 6 so this many uh, crystals numbers will be present let's solve question number 8 Rashmi had a road map with a scale of 1 centimeter which represent 18 km. She drives a road of, uh, of 72 km. Uh, what would be her distance covered in the map? So let it be x centimeter. They are in direct proportion. These are all questions of direct proportion. So 1 and 1 multiplied with 72 and x is multiplied with 18. So x will be equal to 72 divided by 18. Now uh, 6, uh, 3 is 18, 6 and 6, 6 to 12, 2 and 3, 3, 4 to 12. So x value will be 4. We can move to question number 9. Question number 9 is uh, 5 meter 60 centimeter. 5 meter 60 centimeter high vertical pole cast a shadow of 3 meter 20 centimeter long <coughs> shadow. Find uh, at the same time the length of the shadow. Uh, uh, cast by another pole uh, which is having a height of uh, 10 meter 50 <coughs> centimeter another vertical pole is uh, there that will be casting the shadow length of of x 
so let us uh, they are in direct proportion let us cross from the logarithms so if it is 5 meter 60 centimeter uh, it will be 5.60 centimeter it will be 5.60 uh, Five point six zero meter divided uh, is multiplied with x, and that is equal to ten point five zero meter multiplied with two point two zero meter. So x will be equal to ten point five zero multiplied with two point two zero divided by five point six zero. So here you will see zero and zero get cancelled. So it is ten point five multiplied with two point two zero divided by five point six. If I remove the decimal, it will be 10 here. If I remove the decimal, it will be 10 here. If I remove the decimal, it will be 100 here. So uh, 105 multiplied by 320 multiplied by 10 divided by 516 multiplied by 10 and multiplied by 100. So uh, two zeros are getting cancelled. So it will be 12 uh, and finally you will get uh, 6 meter. Here. Now let's have the second part. Uh, this is the first part. Second part we can see here that uh, it is uh, uh, 5 meter 60 centimeter. Your pole length is there and its shadow is 3 meter 20 centimeter. Shadow length is there. It is given. The height of the pole uh, which casts a shadow of 5 meter long shadow is there. So x centimeter or x meter of pole will be there. Just cross multiply everything. They are in direct proportion. So it will be uh, 5.60 multiplied with 5 uh, equal to x multiplied with 3.20. So x will be equal to 5.60 multiplied by 5 divided by 3.20. Remove the decimal. Remove the decimal. It will be 560 multiplied with 5 divided by 320. So now just 0 and 0 get cancelled. So if we divide the things, it will be and 8.75 centimeter 8.75 meter that is the result we will get now uh, we are at question number 10 here question written a loaded track travels uh, 14 kilometer 20 14 kilometer in 25 minutes if the speed remains the same how far it can travel in 5 hours so uh, we can have uh, x kilometers. They are in direct proportion to these quantities. So if it is 14 kilometer, so 14 uh, kilometer is multiplied with 5 hour. 5 hour means uh, 5 one one hour means 60 minute. So 5 into 60 minute that will be uh, that much time. That equal to 25 minute multiplied with x. So x will be equal to 14. Multiply 5, multiply 60 divided by 25. Find the 5, 5, 5 by 25. Then find the 5, 5 for 12 here. When 14 and 12 is multiplied, it will be 168 uh, kilometer. So 168 kilometer, uh, the loaded truck will travel uh, in 5 hours. So this is how we will have uh, solved these questions. Hopefully, all the students will understand. Thank you.